Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette. Here with my next video, and this is gonna be kind of a different type video. I think different people will get different things from it, but I think that uh, a lot of Town Hall 9s especially will be able to kind of learn something at least from this video and at the very least get to see some cool air attacks. But the purpose of this video is mainly going to be to show certain types of bases that are going to be a little bit more susceptible to La Luna attacks and basically why you want to avoid doing certain things when you're building a base at Town Hall 9. Uh, now, Town Hall 9 base building is very tricky right now with bowlers um, and also just air attacks as they are, both being powerful options along with Valks. Um, you have a whole lot of options at Town Hall 9, all of which um, are, are very powerful powerful and can work in a lot of circumstances so it's difficult to to create a base that's truly going to be very difficult to three star at town hall nine but there's certain certain things you can avoid right off the bat when you're building your base and by doing these things or i guess by not doing these things the things you should avoid uh, you're going to make your base have a lot better chance of uh, evading the first attack being a three star so anyway we're going to take a look at a few different uh, bases today and talk about why they're not the best setup uh, before i get into it though guys I want to quickly say and I'll say this in my next few videos probably um, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video possibly with a face cam so uh, that's something I know some of you guys have been wanting to see so make sure to drop a question uh, before you uh, close out this video if if you have a question I guess asking me anything uh, about Clash of Clans or about myself I don't know I guess you could ask either one but let, uh, drop a question if you have one in the comments below and I'll be sure to use some of those for my upcoming Q&A should be a fun video but anyway let's go ahead and get into the video uh, we have what is this JP yeah JP attacking this base and the the main thing that's a problem with this base and it is a Town Hall 10 base but it's mostly Town Hall 9 defenses is the fact that the Queen is so exposed you don't want your Queen to be that easy to trade uh, right there JP just drops his Queen takes her out also gets like a wizard tower too so pretty efficient trade uh, not the best deal if you're the defender. You don't want that to be that easy. Make the queen a little bit more protected. Make them have to invest some giants to tank. Something a little bit more than that. Because uh, the queen is so exposed where she is right there. Anyway though, he zap, he zap quakes that next defense. Um, besides, as far as the rest of this base goes, the sweepers aren't in the best positioning. Um, the base is kind of spread out, so the air sweepers are pointed towards the inside of the base, which is okay on a compact base, when, but when the base is so spread out, uh, the, the air sweepers are almost never going to be doing anything, because it's unlikely the balloons will get, get that deep into the base that the air sweeper will have any effect. So that's another problem with this base. Uh, besides that, the air defenses are just all really spread out. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes people like putting uh, air defenses like in groups of two or three so that they can cover each other. So if a Lava Hound goes to one of them, all two or all three air defenses are able to target that same Lava Hound. That's really your choice because that allows people to kind of storm your base a little quicker sometimes, but it also uh, adds some more damage if it's just one or two Lava Hounds. So either way that you can kind of you can kind of go about building your base that way but this base didn't work out mainly because of how important the queen is to defending against air attacks and people um you know with bowlers and hghb having been popular for a long period of time and still being popular to an extent mainly stoned hobo now but those kind of ground strategies people get a little bit careless with their queen uh, as far as air attacks go they make her a little bit too exposed a little bit too easy to get because your queen is better than any air defense at uh, taking out air troops so keep that in mind uh, nice attack to JP let's go ahead and take a look at our next one which is number 21 here uh, this is Nev and this base a little bit better setup and by the way you'll notice a lot of these guys have their expos on ground only I actually prefer it that way. I think that if you have a good base, it's not going to matter if your expos are on ground only. Uh, this guy's base, pretty solid setup, at least it appears that way at first. The only problem as far as air attacks go is the air sweepers are in good spots, that's true, but if, he, if someone comes at this queen compartment, it's so easy to get really deep in there and get a lot taken out, including the air sweepers. And the air sweepers won't do you any good if the kill squad takes them out. Now, Nev uses a few Valks, which is probably smart to add some more DPS. Also, the, he the, hero the heroes, the bowlers, 
um, a golem to tank. So investing quite a bit in his kill squad, but he's going to get a ton of value. So you want some more compartments to kind of separate off your queen in those air defenses. And typically you don't want your queen between two air defenses. If the queen's going to be next to an air defense, make it only one air defense. You don't want the, the person to come in there, get two air defenses in your queen, especially when there's the air sweepers, there's archer towers, there's other stuff that can be targeted. Um, I guess another thing, the test the farm right on top of an air defense typically try to avoid that that way the lava hounds doing the tanking now keep in mind that one lava hound busted pretty quickly so that doesn't apply as much to this base but in general you don't want that lava hound to be tanking on the tesla farm the tesla farm does a ton of damage you want that to target the balloons if you can or at least a few of those teslas to be out of range of the balloons but anyway his lava hounds actually ended up dying a little bit before the air defenses went down but his heroes got such good value uh, that it didn't really matter anyway uh, the balloons end, end up getting the job done has the heroes up as well so kind of crushed the space all around but the main thing was the the, the size of the base that the kill squad bit off they got the air defense they got two air defenses the queen both air sweepers i think um archer towers wizard towers uh in general you want to put cannons mortars your expos i guess if they're on ground ground only that is put those non-air targeting stuff those defenses by your queen because that way if someone comes with a kill squad like they did in this attack they're not getting the wizard towers the archer towers which will be more valuable on the other side of the base uh, defending against it, the air attacks so keep that in mind let's take a look at one more attack here um this is 007 the the fake 007 i guess you can call him uh where it's spelled out but he is coming in here with a a queen walk to start off uh, his attack and pretty basic stuff i guess for this one but the main thing you're going to notice here the air defenses it's a few things by having the air defenses able to be reached by a queen walk it's not even only bad for air attacks it's bad for ground attacks too because if the queen can target the air defense it gives the queen walk so much more flexibility because oftentimes you have to keep in mind is that air defense going to start shooting my healers if i walk at the wrong angle but when the queen can shoot the air defense down that gives the queen more mobility to move anywhere in the base and not risk the healers being targeted at a at an angle so you never want that regardless of it, whether you're defending against ground or air. Uh, 007 goes for the CC lure, doesn't quite get it, so he drops in a balloon, and I think that lures out a few archers. But anyway, another problem with this base is how big these compartments are. When you have a queen walk that can just kind of walk its way all the way through this base, taking out defenses, getting to multiple air defenses, that's never a good sign. And um, one thing to keep in mind here... <clears throat> is that the damage is much more spread out if you do it this way, which is not good for defending a queen walk. I'm a bigger fan of compact bases. I think those are closer to what the meta is right now. Let me pause because I want to comment on the other side of the base real quick too. But I'm a big fan of compact bases. Uh, it's just harder to queen walk. The, the healers get shot down easier if the air defenses are protected. And there's more DPS. They have to invest more rages. Um, it's harder to do a queen walk. Uh, you have to invest a lot more into it. Now, this was an interesting attack, and I'm sorry, I, people hate when I pause it. I think it's kind of annoying too, but I just had to add that in there. Uh, the, the Lava Hounds are doing all the tanking right now. There's two air defenses left up. Uh, the Queen is left up as well. So the Lava Hounds are just sitting there tanking. I think there's a Dragon that wasn't even killed in the CC. So the Balloons are somehow still alive through all of this. I guess that the... Uh, the dragon goes down, I think, right there to the lava pups and the poison spell. So interesting stuff there. The queen is still up, though, and that's the main thing that you don't want to see if you're the defender. That queen is the most dangerous thing uh, for a defender if she's up at the end of the attack. Just like how I've said in the past, the queen is your most valuable asset for the, uh, for the attacker at the end of an air attack. So the queen... If she's still up, that's a really bad sign. You don't want your base to be so spread out that the queen will just never die like it happened here. Because he had the ability left over. He did not have to invest much in her. Um, 007 also dropped the king down to take out the queen. The king, I'm not sure if he was supposed to go first or something. But regardless, he took out the queen kind of in aftermath after the balloons already made their way through. But it was just interesting to see how the lava hounds tanked for 
the dragon, which does splash damage. That's a little bit dangerous if the balloons clump up next to the lava hound. But the lava hounds did tank for the dragon, the queen, and uh, the pups took out the dragon, I think, for the most part, along with the poison spell. So it worked out there. Maybe a little bit lucky, you could argue, but this guy definitely didn't help his cause by having the air defenses so exposed and those big roomy compartments uh, that the queen can just walk her way through. Never a, a recipe for success if you're the defender. So hope these, these replays help. Um, tried to make this something that uh, people who are you know working on base building can also learn something from as well as attackers who are who are looking for what types of bases they should attack with a laloon composition so yeah i uh, hope you guys like the video and one more time drop those questions for the q a which should be coming out in a few days possibly this weekend depends on uh, when i kind of get around to it it takes a little bit more work than just a regular video so be on the lookout for that coming out soon and i'll see you guys later Bisect the Tron out.